everybody i'm back in the back room or our spare bedroom um i wanted to come on today to show you basically what we got in the brit mums um bag this year 2016. i know some people did it for like 2015 and i watched it and i thought oh that's quite good uh, and i know a couple of other people have already done their brit mum hauls um their brit mum goodie bags reveal i suppose um so yeah my turn so i came away with not one not two but three bags from brit mum so if anybody is going to 2017 or thereafter i really recommend as other bloggers have recommended before that you take a suitcase with you because believe me you will need the extra space and you don't want to be lugging extra bags on the train when there's very little room on the trains anyway these days um, so yeah, bring an extra suitcase. So first things first. And bear with me because I'm going to be back and forth getting this. First thing was this was the Brit Mum bag. Um, Pinterest logo obviously. And in here we got tons of stuff. So we got a Kate Mimim. Which on four, or Kate and Mimim. I haven't come across these yet. Battle Kit, Kit, Battle Kit I think is a little bit too young for them. But we got one of these. Um he's not really into it so actually i know who i'm gonna give this to my niece she's coming over soon to visit so i think she'll like that she likes purple as well so we got one of those we got a clanger's whistle now this has been hidden from battle kid bal dad went oh great he can play with that no he can't because you're not the one who's here every week with him you go to work from monday to friday um and Baldad works away during the week, I should explain. So you're the one who's going to have to listen to it. So you blow through here and it does its... I'm not going to do it because they're both asleep, my boys are. It's a Sunday afternoon when I'm recording this, so apologies. So yeah, Clangers Whistle. They were there and their stand was really good. Actually, I digress. They had um, a tree of kindness there. And you could basically take a, a luggage tag, like a tag or a label tag write your message of kindness and put it on the tree and i thought it was a really nice idea and obviously the best one um best person who put the best um message on there won a goodie bag and i think if i remember correctly it was stevie from our cornish mum who won um and hers was really nice um mine basically said kindness starts at home if you want your children to be kind outside of the house you need to be kind to them in the house which i think is true because you know we are our children's teachers alongside their school teachers i think we are their biggest mentors and their biggest teachers so you know lead by example at home so anyway two things there and what we also got was chocolate filled crepes now battle dad and i haven't dug into these yet but believe me we're going to very very soon yum and i have heard some people say they were delicious uh bottle of highland spring water that's going to be handy in my handbag. Bottle of Coke Zero. I'm not a big Coke fan these days, these days, but I think Battle Dad will like that, so I'll stick that into the fridge for him. I'm sure he will enjoy that. We've got a Mam 6 Plus um, toothbrush. I think I'll give that to my sister in law who's coming to visit this week. Um, or after you've seen this, obviously. I'll be, yeah, she'll have, she, she'll have visited by the time this airs. So. I'll give that to her because her little fella's um, younger than Battle Kid is. So I'll give that to her to take with her. Um, then what else do we get? Oh yeah, Till the Kids. I love these. Never mind Battle Kid. I love these. Um, so there may be a little bit of a fight over this. He's only recently gotten into rice, Battle Kid. The last two, three months or so. Which really surprised me because he never really liked it before. Anyway, Till the Kids. Um, this. Oh. I'm going to be using this. I've never used these before, but I tell you something. The early mornings are killing me with the light streaming in, so I'll be trying that. Um, next of all, we also got a Santa Maria Quick and Easy Pulled Chicken Dinner Kit. Yum. That's going to be nice. I'm definitely going to be trying that with Battle Dad. We're always looking for new things to try for dinner because I, we tend to stick to the same stuff and you start getting really bored of them really quickly so this will make a nice change and um, what else did we get oh yeah now these guys bollocks bollocks were at um Brit Mums now 
it doesn't mean it in the derogatory swear word thing um and yeah there's sweets in there but they were there basically um to showcase and obviously to sell uh, a new range of men's underwear uh, and it's a bollocks to cancer so they're actually supporting um they're supporting cancer research i think i'll have to look into that but anyway we got sweeties from them we also got a slim fat chocolate crunch bar which some people already have said is really delicious so that'll be handy actually for a tea break in work uh what else did we get we got heavenly coconut squishies strawberry apple and banana but kid will love that he loves squishy um pouches particularly yogurts which he sicked up in my car on the way to swimming this morning anyway um, we got a little small um, portion of 25 mils of ultra sun protection 30 SPF um, sun cream my mind is gone we got some oh yeah the boot sultan one I've used this before on Battle Kid and I love this and it's great for popping in your handbag because I think so many of us are guilty of not putting sun cream on our kids in the UK um, and we only do it when the sun is really hot and I think we need to be doing it more so that's going into the change bag and we're going to be using that a lot more. I visited their um, their stand at Brit Mums and it was great so really glad to have gotten a sample of that. This could not have come at a better time. We've just recently run out of our Johnson no, um, baby shampoo no more tears so this has come at a really good time so that's going straight into the bathroom and um, we got some Wrigley Spearmint now this was to go with the Wrigley's um, Lost Smile book they have brought out a Lost Smile book um, which is aimed at children and it's kind of geared towards um, trying to encourage people to clean their children's teeth um, it's got hints and tips at the back I've actually recently given away four copies on the blog it's a nice little book um, personally I'm not keen on the story but Battle Kid absolutely loves it every evening we say what story do you want smile what story do you want smile and last night he said oh smile mummy okay but he loves it um, and he absolutely loves the story the, um, he loves the illustrations in it and it's a nice little story but it's got hints and tips at the back of the book and there's a whole campaign behind it which I've written about on the blog but yeah the as far as I know the gum was in um, conjunction with the Lost Smile book I've actually kept that for us Pe pencil which is always handy and um, we got some uh, what else did we get oh we got a, a garland from the big the the big little tent festival um people um i had already gotten the one so i might give that to my sister-in-law and um, for her daughter and we got some other just kind of bits and pieces in terms of um leaflets and stuff so that was the main britain mum's um, bag quite a good one actually um i'm trying to think was there anything else from there no i don't think so next of all i visited um, or went in to see munchkin here, see, here's the garland from the big little tent festival people. I've also gone on and I've also requested their um, tent festival or their festival packet. So people can actually um, get involved in this summer if you're going to a festival or if you're just going to have a little festival in your garden or if it's really crap, build a den and have a festival and then just get involved on social media and I think you can win a prize book. Here we go. Also visited the Munchkin stand. Now I was really impressed with this. I have to say, although most of it isn't actually for Battle Kid, I'm half thinking of either hanging on to it for six months because we might try for number two. I'm not sure yet. But if not, then I'll give it away on the blog. So we got a chew proof um, beaker. Always good. That's a six month plus. And um, we also got a mum latch, um, natural lash, natural latch combi feeder um bottle i did combi fe um, feed with battle kid um we only did one formula feed from six weeks to seven months and then transferred them onto bottles little ducky which he's not getting because he has too many of them already and we got some um munchkin uh keep the take keep the spoon off the table spoons feeding spoons which are really good so you can see there i don't know whether it's, it's not going to focus anyway it's got a little stand that keeps the spoon part off the table 
I have some utensils like that in the kitchen and they're really, really good. So you can put it down. And then we just got a few other little kind of bits and pieces from Mum and Munchkin as well. So I was, I have to say, I was really impressed by the Munchkin um, goodie bags. So all you had to do was give your, um, give your business card or leave your details with them and you got one of these. Um, I was really happy with that, I have to say. Next, we visited the, myself and um, Ali from Bookbird B. We went into the MAM um, area for two talks. We went in and got a whole load of par paraphernalia in terms of just um, leaflets and stuff. But while we were in there, we also got one of these self-sterilizing bottles. So you take the tops off and there's a way of doing it. And you basically put it in the microwave and it sterilizes itself. Handy if number two ever it comes about. And if not, then... I'll give it away and a little soother as well well we call them soothers in Ireland they're dummies um, he's not getting that because we're about to try and take him off the dummies he only has them for naps during the day one nap in the day and bedtime um, but he's not getting that um, so that was from the Mound Lounge and then I visited um, the Costa Brava stand and got um, a blow up beach ball and some bubbles so we'll use the bubbles when we go away at some stage um, and I think that was it for those bags. I just got some information about Costa Brava because we're always looking for somewhere new to go as a family. And then I went and visited the Filinet. Um, I went to one of the talks and one of the guys from the Filinet was there and he, out of a panel of three people, he was the person who gave me the best ideas. I've blogged about it on my Brit Mums thing, I'm not going to go into it here. But I went and um, signed up to them and we got some information about filling it. We've got a drinks bottle which is really handy. I'm going to start using that for work. Um, and there was some pens and a chocolate and there was, oh, oh a stress ball. Oh, I could do with that. Um, what are these? So I've got two boxes I have no idea what they're for this one is from Argus Hire Car, Car Hire USB key they're always handy I'm always losing mine so very handy to have about and then last but not least we have one from Thomas Cook <gasps> oh sorry Thomas Cook but I don't know I'll be giving that one away to somebody who would because if anybody wants to go and see, I think, genuine placebo's recent tweet to them, not good. Go and check out Twitter. And of course, I've picked away, put, oh, got my Boots Sultan uh, selfies as well. That was good fun. You basically went in, took four selfies, and then they produced a GIF which was emailed to you, and then you get the photos as well. The GIF has gone on my um, Battle Mums um, post. So was good fun um so that's it yeah loads of stuff from the Brit Mums um uh blogging conference which was in June um and yeah some really good stuff that we're going to use stuff I'm going to put up just in case we have number two and if it doesn't if it doesn't come about then I'll give them away on the blog because I like giving things away on the blog I like giving people something nice um so thanks for stopping by again got my garland on um and that was the three bags that I came away from Brit Mums with a lot of stuff. Um, will I go next year? Maybe. I'm undecided yet. I'm going to go to a couple more blogging conferences this year and then we'll find out. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.